Hi, welcome back to Quema Paw Creations tutorial videos and today I'm having a short quick tip technique for repairing brick stitch when you have a broken bead. So I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Hi, hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to, if you um, broke a bead within your brick stitch, there's a way to um, go in and fix it without taking it all apart. And so I, if you notice that they're supposed to be white, here, these white here are supposed to be up here. And I forgot. Um, but there are times when I have had to, um, when I'm weaving back my thread back through when I'm finished, that I've broken a bead uh, in, the, in the piece. So we're gonna go, and I am going to go ahead and break out, maybe, <laughs> kind of one of those easier said than done things. So I'm going to go ahead and try to break out the beads that I want to have replaced with white ones. So. Hopefully, um, all right, so here is the area that I have broken the beads out. So I want to replace these beads with white ones um, so that they don't match the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave I'm going to weave around the area and reinforce those beads that will be surrounding the white ones that I will be adding so I'm going to I don't like knots, so what I'm doing is burning the end of this. When you burn the, when you burn Nymo thread, it creates a little ball on the end, and that was a lot. So there's a little ball on the end of there, so that's gonna catch when I um, go in. And I'm just going to go in somewhere and weave myself back up to where I want to add um, again, I'm going to bent my needle, so sorry. Weave myself up to the area surrounding this spot I'm going to fill in. So I'm going to do that. So once I get up to the area where I want to add these beads, oops, I'm kind of got. I want to go around the area of the missing beads so that I can reinforce the, the beads that surround it. So all I'm doing is just going, weaving myself around the area So that those beads will be reinforced. 
to kind of stay in their spot. Because in order for my beads to set right in there, Now, in order for my beads to set right in there, these um, threads are going to have to come out because there will be no spot. Um, they take up space and the beads won't set flat in there. So what I'm going to do, and if you don't have a thread burner, what you can do is take some real sharp scissors and just snip them away. Or you can use a lighter. However, you're going to be able to get those threads to be out of the way. All right. So I've got my threads out of the way. So you can see that they're no longer so showing. So now I'm going to... Um, So I'm coming up through, ouch, I'm going to come up through this one bead here, and then my white one needs to set right there. So I'm going to put it in there just like I normally would. and just anchor it in to the surrounding beads just like it belongs there so i have that first one and because i burnt the beads or i mean i'm sorry I burnt the threads out of the way. It sets right in there neatly. So now I'm going to weave back up. And come out of the bead. Above in the next row. I don't know. It's kind of difficult to see because it's, I think, because it's black. But this, I'm coming up and I'm coming into the bead that will sit next to the two that will go in that middle cross. So, kind of weave that up there. And now I'm going to add my white beads the same way I would if. The beads above were not there. No, I don't. I don't do thread bridges anymore. I use Comanche stitch, but it would be the same if you were use if you did regular brick stitch and uh, used your thread bridges. All right, so now that's gonna set right in there. And I'm going to go through that and then down through the bead next to it. And that's going to set those beads right in that space right in there and I'm gonna get myself up to leave myself up there to the next row where that 
bead is going to snug right in there. And that just secures that bead right into that spot. Oops, sorry about that. And then I'm going to weave back up through the top. Because if you can, you can't see it very well, but it's not attached at the top, the top row up there yet. So I'm going to make sure that I'm going up through there and coming back down to attach my little cross there to the top, to the rope of it. So it'll sit flat in there so that is how you would Fix a broken bead if you've broken a bead within your piece of brick stitch. And I'm just going to weave this back down out of the way. <clears throat> and then I'll just continue weaving that down. more rows and so I weed that down and just burn that off and make sure that all the threads are gone and there is how you repair if you've broken a bead within your brick stitch so thanks for watching Hi, and thanks for watching the video, and I hope that you learned a new way to repair your brick stitch, and I appreciate you stopping by. And please come and join our Creation Corner Beating Circle on Facebook, and we have a live Zoom beating session uh, every Sunday afternoon from 1 to 4 Pacific Standard Time. So thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Thank you.